We've got so many leaks for you guys today inside of Diablo Immortal that I am not going to wait. I am just going to dive into it. But remember, these are leaks. Nothing here today has been confirmed by Blizzard. I do anticipate though that in a day, maybe even today possibly, we will be getting some official patch notes from Blizzard about the incoming update. We have things coming this week and we don't have patch notes yet. So when they do drop, I'll break them down for you right here in the channel. Make sure you subscribe so when that information comes out, you are not late to the party. Let's start things out because we got some big changes specifically to resonance inside of the game. Number one, wings can be awakened with resonance above 8,000. As resonance increases, slots will gradually unlock along with new wings and a brand new ultimate skill. Now, if you recall yesterday's video, if you missed it, you have to go watch that for this point alone. There was a shield that kind of went around your character and in the video footage of that shield, it would be like a big atom bomb explosion. I believe that this is the new ultimate skill that you get with that crazy high resonance. Up to 16 slots can be embedded in the wings, including two five-star and two two-star legendary gem slots. Each of these four slots can hold three legendary gems, adding up to a total of 2,000 resonance from the 16 slots. So, wings are now gonna be able to hold resonance and be awakened. Interesting stuff there. Let's take a look at the image that we have right here. We actually have two images of the, of the wings. Make that three. As you can see right here, the gems that are gonna be able to be slotted in, the resonance you can see on the left-hand side. Again, it is all in Chinese, but we could make some assumptions of what's being said here. Notice the wings in the center of the image, and then all of the resonance pods around the wings, allowing for an extra 2,000 resonance. Now, I said we have more because we have this image as well. All of these were clearly taken from a presentation that was being brought out to a bunch of people, probably content creators. Someone was breaking their NDA and snapping pictures in the background, and it makes me always wonder, why do they always have the worst cameras? Why do they never snap a really clean picture? I don't know. Here's another example though, the wings there in the center and around the outside, very bright lit, the resonance slots where you can slot other gems. And there is something very cool here that we're gonna talk about in the notes in a second, but take a look at this. Resonance up to 11,000. Here it's 11,160 resonance wearing those rings right there. And look at the gear. Actually the gear, you have a bunch at 16 or 18 and then some at 20 as well for the secondary gear. And you could see on the right hand side, what are all these little, are these like the new runes that they've been talking about? We talked about runes in yesterday's video as well. And now you have on the right hand side here, all of these different looking rune like items. So let's get back here. The legendary gems embedded in the wings can, on can only provide resonance and combat rating. New wings are unlocked at 9,000 and 11,000 resonance. And as we saw in that last image, there was 11K resonance. That is big baller resonance right there. A resonance that I will never see inside of the game. Number three, legendary gems can be awakened at level five and the awakening attributes will increase with the level of the legendary gems. Look at this. As it sits right now inside of the game, you could only awaken a gem slot if the gem reaches level 10 but it seems that they're gonna allow awakening at level five because they realize that a lot of people can't awaken a slot for a five-star gem. This changes the game entirely because now you can get awakened bonuses from using a five-star gem rank five. You rank it up to five, and then you can use it and awaken the slot. Now it does say that the attributes will increase with the level of the legendary gems, but still, if you could awaken slots of five-star gems, a lot of people are building their builds with one and two-star gems to get those awakening bonuses. But now people using five-star gems that aren't even max can get a hand on those same bonuses or similar, and it's gonna change how builds look. I anticipate seeing a lot more five-star gems being used by people in the near future. Two new PVE modes, which will drop runes. If you recall yesterday's video, we talked about the runes inside of the game. And those runes, well, they were something that was being put into our gear to enhance our gear in some way. We didn't get a lot of details on that. You can earn more rewards in the first 10 attempts. 
These runes can be embedded in legendary gear and can be traded. All right. Runes are similar to gear with orange, gold, blue, and gray. That's number four. Let's go back over here. Look at this. Orange, blue, gray. Look at this. We're seeing these runes. I was right on the right hand side here. These are actually the runes in action in our inventory. Very interesting. And notice it's under the uh, accessories slot. You have gear, you have gems, and then accessories in that bottom right hand slot. Number five. The runes and legendary gear dropped in the new PvE mode will have a chance to get new universal magic attributes. I showed this yesterday as well, magic attributes that were coming with the gear. It didn't seem like much because we already get magic attributes with gear. I guess this is a different way to get it and possibly even modify it. Maybe a different way of reworking gear than we currently are using right now and actually I would say that I would strongly believe that it is a new rework on how we use our gear currently inside of the game. Number seven, new green sets about chill and frozen. So new green items are gonna be able to be used. I wonder if in that image we could see anything different. Uh, those ones don't look any different from anything that we've seen so far, but new green items is gonna be sweet and they're gonna have some chill or freezing style effect to them. And a new five-star legendary get gem called Storm Vault. Not surprising that we're getting a new legendary gem. We seem to get them all the time and they seem to keep getting better. What I will urge all of you to not do is stress that you need the newest of legendary gems because it is a game that you just can't keep up with. Unless if you're ready to really open up that wallet, it's gonna be very hard for you to get the new gems and rank them where you need to rank them. Unless if you uh, if you put to sleep and make dormant your five-star gems and switch it into a new one, it's possible that way. Still not an easy thing to do. Some major changes here, all coming in the form of resonance and in the form of combat rating and how you get your power. Also, I, I skipped number six, I'm sorry. Three new difficulties, Inferno 1, Inferno 2, and Inferno 3 with new essences, a new paragon tree, and new heliquary bosses. After unlocking the Infernal difficulty, you can select an additional skill which may come from other Paragon trees. Oh, that's pretty interesting as well. Let's take a look. Well, first of all, check this out as well. Look at these pieces, look at these weapons right here. Does it not look like there are two gem slots inside of these weapons? I mean, let me give you, can I even give you a closer look? I wanna make sure that I can give you a closer look right here. Let's zoom in. Take a look at this. Do you see those additional gem slots? in the chest pieces, in some of the weapons as well. It looks like we may be able to throw additional gems inside of this, which will, uh, again, enable you to use more legendary gems and to boost your resonance. Now, a lot of people don't care about resonance, and to be honest, I don't either. The only reason why I do consider wanting higher resonance is one, to get bigger wings, and two, to be able to use gems that I just don't have enough slots for right now. So I actually welcome the ability to slot more gems so I can get the effects of those gems and just have fun with it. That's really my, my focus right there. Now we also have that new PVP mode, uh, PVE mode. We do have this right here. This is the screen for the new events as updates come in. And look at these two demon looking creatures. And it when you translate this into English, it reads, brand new demon so we have a new boss a new enemy coming inside of the game as well now they also mentioned the paragon trees and this lock at the bottom now i do recall that there was some type of a locking mechanism inside of the paragon trees and i expected to see it when the paragon trees dropped but we didn't see that so here we go you're going to be able to have your one two three four five paragon choices from the paragon tree of your choice and then the locking one right here will be an additional trait that you can unlock from any paragon tree this is going to be your um your lottery you could go to any single paragon tree you want and as long as it's a it's an awakened piece of of skill or talent i should say you can use it in there which is nice when there's just one that you want from that tree but you don't want to use the entire tree or the, that portion of the tree, you have the lock slot, which I actually quite like. So a lot of things are coming to the game. The lock thing is going to be huge, but really it's all about these wing slots, these wing gem slots. 
that's going to bring so much more resonance increasing the ceiling for all of our big spenders inside of the game whales that are going to want to compete and that have already spent tens of thousands in the game are now going to want to spend more money inside of the game further supporting diablo moral i mean how many gem slots and how many pieces of gear can we awaken inside of this game I would anticipate that as the years go on, remember we're in year two right now, or we just are starting year three, ending year two, a lot of gem slots have been added. We have our stances, we now have it come to the wings. I would not be surprised in another year or two, we start seeing gem slots in other pieces as well. You also saw in the image right over here that we have other, where is it right here? I believe it's this one, that we have gem slots coming in the pieces of gear so instead of one gem being in gear and having eight pieces of gear with eight gems we could potentially have eight pieces of gear holding 16 gems further increasing the resonance that we could build inside of our accounts further increasing the ceiling of the spend that we could have inside of the game as well now as i mentioned i will be breaking this down and sharing it for you when official word does come from Blizzard, because everything that we've talked about today is in the form of a leak, a leak, which I will be linking down below. I love leaks. I think that they're fun. They allow us to get a quick look and kind of uh, guess at what's coming to the game, which can actually be quite exciting. Actually, when you take a look at this image in the bottom right, you have the gear, you have the gems, and there's an additional slot right there. And then there is the little bag that we have of all of our our extra stuff looks like they added a tab in the bottom right and that's going to be where the runes lie remember the runes are right over here and they are in that third slot as you can see in the bottom right so lots is coming very exciting we should be seeing a lot of this coming in this week so we should have patch notes that i'll break down for you soon please subscribe so when i have that video for you you don't miss it